Right, welcome back to the show. It is me, Johnny Doom, and it is Ant, and I'm joined on the sofa by Hands Off Gretel. How are you doing? Hello. Hey. Hey. Um, yes, uh, Emma Scott passed you on to me, musically, uh, and I played some on the show as well. I don't know whether you heard it being played mm -hmm. on the show. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, but yeah, it's nice to get you here. Nice to chat to you. Um, you're from Sheffield, aren't you? Yeah, yeah, kind of. Un unofficially. Yeah, unofficially. Kind of like it's it's around, geographically, yeah. if you triangle it, we're yeah. in Sheffield, so we'll yeah. say Sheffield. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, now, uh, before we talk about the band, <clears throat> sorry, before we talk about the band, uh, when did you meet each other? How did you get together? Who's going to say that? You. Me. You, you, you started it. Um, well, I was solo, and then I was with Sean, and I was with Sam, but Sam was the guitarist at the time. Right. And then... Oh, how's this story go? Um, and then I quit the solo thing, and I yeah. didn't do that no more. And then I decided to do Hands of Gretel, and um, me and Sean, we were uh, we were working together, writing songs and stuff. And well, I I wrote most of, most of the songs. Yeah. And then we were writing songs. Then we met with another drummer and bassist, but then things that changed. That didn't work out. No. No. And then eventually we found Sam again. I contacted you again, didn't I, to see if you'd be bass. Mm-hmm. Then Sam went on bass, and then he ended up on drums on the album, and then he stayed on drums after the album. And it kind of clicked, yeah. it kind of came mm. together. Uh -huh. And then we needed a bassist, then we found Joe. Hi, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> uh, now, your music is very much rooted in uh, the early 90s, you know, or late 80s going into early 90s mm. kind of vibe. Um, there's definitely grunge influences in there, a little bit kind of riot girly stuff going on. Uh, but also you kind of seem to love that era in terms of the way you present yourselves as well, and the artwork. Mm -hmm. um, so I was going to ask what it is about the 90s that kind of excites you so much, I suppose, really. You did oh, as well. I love how everyone possesses some like, level of flannel to some <laughs> degree, kind of like, waving around. Rip jeans. We've got a flag of like thrift flannel. Um, was it something that kind of initially passed you by? Because I'm 46, so I was kind of 20, early 20s when mm. that was kind of kicking off, I suppose. Yeah. Um, but did you miss grunge first time? Oh yeah, I'm, like I'm 28 myself, so yeah. I think when Feck and Bleach came out, I was one, so I would have been yeah. cool if I got it, but <laughs> a bit above me at the time. Um, for me, it was just like every kind of teenager ever listened to every kind of genre of music along and certain ones would hit you. Mm. And obviously you find yourself going more alternative. But when I found like grunge, like you hear Nirvana, Mud yeah. Honey, Alice in Chains, it's like they were doing things no one else was doing for me. And yes, it was back like what, 10 years at the time, but I still heard nothing nowadays that would compare to it. Every, everything felt like a staler version of something yeah, else. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I always felt like I sang with it, just like there was such a primal element to it. There was like, for a lot of bands, a lot of a, like a lack, a weird lack of practice. Even though that wasn't the case, it's just it was like feeling. a looseness too, wasn't yeah. there? And yeah, I, I suppose it felt very real, you know, at the time, and not computerized yeah. or tweaked too much. Uh, and same with you. I mean, for for you, like the the whole look as well is yeah. quite important, isn't it? You know, things like Babes in Toyland oh, yeah. and stuff like that, mm -hmm. uh, Jack off Jill. I don't know, correct, those kind of bands. Yeah. Uh, there was something about that time where you could just, I don't know, let loose yeah. a little bit. Yeah, you could, you could look however you wanted to. Yeah. And it was Sean that got me into grunge. Because I would describe yeah. it in this sound, and it's like, I, I want my music to sound like this. And he was saying, I've listened to Hole. And I'd not listened to Hole, I listened to Varna. So I'd yeah. listened to Hole before. And then as soon as I saw Can't Love, it was like, that was exactly the kind of music that resonated with me straight away was like grunge. Um, let's get onto the album anyway. All right, it's called Burn the Beauty Queen. I'll show it to the camera. Yeah. Uh, 13 tracks as well. Uh, it looks quite interesting. Do you have a hand in all the artwork as well and things like that? Or do you uh, get I've, friends? I do all the artwork myself. Oh, you do all that, mm -hmm. yeah. And uh, where did you record this locally? Um, well, we work with a producer that I've worked with since I started. Like, yeah. he, he, we, he did it. It's kind of, he did a home studio thing, but we took it to Wales. We, we recorded it in a, like, a big house. Nice. And we rented it out and we did it, like, quite. We didn't really know what we were doing, did we? No. <laughs> no. Well, you might as well be on. Yeah. <laughs> is this a microphone yeah. or is you this got, a guitar? You got it finished. No, least. we had no experience, yeah. but it worked. Yeah. 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 Was he a good producer? Someone good to work yeah. with? Yeah. Yeah, it was yeah. good. Mm -hmm. And just this house, middle of nowhere, surrounded by nothing but sheep. And by the end of the day, we're <laughs> flannel and Doc Martens. Like, <laughs> yeah. Brilliant. Yeah. Dreadlocks. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, yeah. Um, also, gigs wise, are you out and about a lot? Do you get out much? I mean, have you been up and down the country? Have you been abroad? Or, you know, or is it just starting for you guys? 
you, you answered that one. That's all, that's all we're doing at the moment, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Just, yeah, getting out as much as we can, really. Yeah. All up and down the country. Yeah, just in any venue. Yeah, it's trying, all to fill, trying to fill the gaps with, well, whatever we can get, really. Yeah. Just mm-hmm. keeping as busy as possible. Um, so everyone look out for the album Burn the Beauty Queen you can obviously get one from the band or like them on Facebook or all that kind of business Uh, we're going to watch a video now Uh, tell us about this Um, what track is it go on you say it it's One Eyed Girl. One Eyed Girl, yeah. I, I think it's about a One Eyed Girl. <laughs> I played this on the show. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you don't have to explain what it's about. But, uh, but yeah, tell us about the video anyway. Did you record it uh, yourselves? Did you do yeah, it? Was the yeah, it was all DIY. Yeah, Lauren's mm-hmm. idea, and then we kind of yeah. chipped in as it went. It was, in my, it was in my garage. And yeah. I had the idea, and no one thought it would work. And I said, like, we'll like all the cloth that we used. Like I sewed it all together and I don't know how to sew, but I did it. <laughs> yeah. So I was up on ladders, like building this set in the garage and we took, went before we put it up, like it didn't look like it was gonna work, but all DIY, all completely, like we didn't know it was gonna work on. <laughs> well, yeah, that creativity does come across, you know, even on your Facebook page, you know, the, co- the colors and, you know, it, it all mm-hmm. comes through. Uh, but yeah, thanks for coming on the show. Good luck with everything. Uh, I don't know whether we can catch you in Birmingham anytime soon. Uh, but uh, December show in Birmingham, isn't it? Yeah, it's it? the uh, what's it called? Is it the Rainbow? Rainbow, Rainbow. yeah. I think oh, it's yeah. December. I was there last the night. Rainbow, yeah, we're, so, so we'll look out for that December time. Um, and yes, this is on the album. Uh, so uh, so yeah, look out for them. Hands off, Gretel. Thanks for coming on the show. Uh, and here they are with One Eyed Girl on Amped right now.